Okay, and we are on Facebook Live. <laughs> and uh, this is Shannon, and we have Michelle, and you can hear Lorelai in the background. <laughs> I thought she said cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better what I thought she said. So. Welcome back to the Color Hall. <laughs> Tonight we're going to do this little scene that we worked on today. That's what everybody's seeing. Okay. How does that look? That's yep. good. Okay. And I don't know what time it is. It it's is. Too early. It's a couple minutes early. I figured I'd start early and then people can be like, oh, I want to join. Oh, okay. We've got um, like three, four minutes. So all right. It's all good. Cool. We're going to be using schminky paints only because... Well, really, no reason other than it's in my cute little pan, and it was the closest one I had to me. <laughs> All this morning? Yeah. It still blows my mind that those colors come out like that, because they do not look like that in the palette. Like this? Yeah. They're just... Yeah. Well, um, really good. Darcy says, I'm here, I'm here! Yay! <laughs> Hi, Darcy. Really good uh, professional paints that aren't full of fillers. Um, will appear much darker in the pan. That's why it's good to swatch them out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they don't look anything like yeah. that. It's just crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like if you were to show me that pan and be like, "Oh, here's your, you know, color palette," and I didn't know any better, I'd be like, "Ooh, I don't want those colors." It's... That color does not look no. at all like that. No, no, I know. <laughs> and they're so, they're so, um. Like transparent. Transpa mm -hmm. That's the word I was looking for. You are. Yay! That's why she's the business lady, guys. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they're very, this set is very transparent. Gone? Gone. And we're going to. Cute little thing that you have right there. What? The painting in front of you. What's that cute little thing? <laughs> it's a painting that I did today. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're having, we're having a rough day, guys. Oh, it's been really rough. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff going on, so. <laughs> Isn't there always? Like, there are people that are saying, you guys always have a crazy day. Yeah. So we're going to be working on. Get us a studio. Lots of new stuff. <laughs> um. Paul Rubens, I just discovered, had some really cool new paper. It is sparkling glitter effect, 100% uh, cotton paper. So, of course, I had to get some. <laughs> and um, it's very affordable. And it comes in a cute little We have envelope sleeve. Conover and Darcy and Nick and Jim Burley. Oh, my gosh. We have a whole slew of people today. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Now, I don't want to touch this paper a whole lot because I just put lotion on my hands. Oh. But um, I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle in this paper. If I turn it, see, maybe. Uh, very, yeah, yeah. Um, when you, like, bend it a little bit, like, make it, yeah, you can see it definitely in the upper edges in the corner. Maybe. See it, yep. But it's, this paper is amazing. <clears throat> so um, we're going to be working on that. And I think... Well, maybe next week, or I already have next week's drawn out, Saturday's drawn out, so I don't know. But um, we'll be doing a couple winter scenes on this. It'll be really pretty. And we're also going to be doing a new technique that I've not used before. It's called a bokeh effect, and I've seen a lot of watercolor artists doing it. It's um, where you get this um, out-of-focus effect that a lot of... Um, like your old-fashioned photos would have. Photos like do that. it, yeah. A lot of um, photography artists do it. Um, and I've just noticed a lot of watercolor artists artists do it lately. So, yep, that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing it on a larger sheet of paper. Yeah, and you did it on the sparkle one, so I'm going to actually get it close so you guys can see it um, And it didn't take shimmer. the sparkle out. Yeah. So that sparkle is really embedded in the paper. Yeah, and you can even see it um, on the reindeer. You can you can see it sparkle even through the brown because that was one of the things when Mom was painting this. I I said uh, when you do the bokeh effect, when you rub it, does the sparkles come out? Does the paint cover it? And it it really doesn't. So this is really awesome paper. And I was really using a. a yeah, very firm brush to um, yeah, much stronger brush the... that I was 
should have been using on this. I got to get a better um, scrub brush. It's really. And you were, you were actually scrubbing up some of the, the top, very top of the paper too, right? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, there goes the sparkle. And then, yeah. yes, <laughs> none of the sparkle came up. Or if it did, it it's, there's several layers. So. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Very, yeah. Very much worth the money. Yeah. So I think we're going to be using a, a variety of brushes, just whatever I'm in the mood to work with. And I think we're going to just um, get going because this is probably going to take a little bit longer tonight just because it's a more intricate. And I think I want to do tonight's a little bit looser than what I did today's. Mm. Try to... Well, I'm gonna... I, I love the one that you did today. It was um, oh. very cutesy and cartoony and wintery. So I'm going to um, water the entire background. No. Um, and I don't mind going over the trees because they're going to be green and blue anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over, go around, I mean, um, the deer and the little critters and the snowman. But I am going to wet everything else because I'm going to want that all softened. I've got a dog hair underneath the tape there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you I, actually taped it down today. I did because um, I'm going to need this good and wet mm -hmm. to get the flow of paint the way I want it. And I'm going to want a lot of water on this because I, because I did notice today that as soon as I got even this tiny little bit wet, mm -hmm. um, the by the time I got one part wet, the other part had dried off. Dried oh, off. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can talk to you. Yeah, we both have a migraine today, so we have slight speech impediments. Yeah, I just took some more excedrin. Oh. <laughs> uh, so if we spurt, start, oh my god, start speaking in tongues. Start speaking in tongues. <laughs> Jeez. We're doing good. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so hope not. Get ready for the red, guys. <laughs> All right. Now, if it does start drying, is it okay to go back and re-wet it? Or does oh, yeah. that make the paper soupy nope. or anything like that? Nope, nope, nope. Um, You just don't want to have puddles. Mm. You want to have a nice, even shine. Mm. Everybody says they love the picture. It's super cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we figured we'd do a fun winter one. Yeah. It's just kind of cartoony and... Yeah, this sparkle paper is really cool. Oh, yes, please. There's a pterodactyl in the other room. Please, <laughs> fill our heads some more today. She's only been doing this all day. It's like she knows we both have a headache. Oh, so. you guys got migraines? Cool. Uh, Bill Murphy is on. Hello. Hi. We've got lots of people tonight. Love this. Feel free, guys, if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Please ask. And of course, she's learning new words and sounds, so it's... Yeah, I'm learning every day. It, oh, no, I'm not <laughs> but yeah, you too. <laughs> so there's going to be more vocalizations from the peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, she's talking more and more every day. No, we can't get her to show up. I know. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> All right, so I think that's got a nice sheen yeah. on it. I don't know if I hold it up... Yeah, well, you can see it on the... I just when you held it, it up, and I just saw some spots that I missed. Oh. So that's a good way to see. Do you want to do right there? Or... Yep. Okay. So that's a good way to see if you've missed any spots. Do you want to do right there? Okay. To see if you've missed any spots, just hold it up to the light. There she said, I love hearing her talk. So cute. Oh, she's adorable. Yeah. She um she was in Daddy's grandpa's truck yesterday going, Nana, yum yum. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hit a car issue and we were coming back from a tire place and I told her, We're gonna go we're gonna go back to Nana's house and we're gonna I'll make you some lunch and she goes, Yum 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 yum, na 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 I was like, Yeah, we're going to Nana's for lunch. Should you get gonna have lunch at Nana's? And she goes, Yum yum yummy na na and I said, Yes, we're gonna go to Nana's for lunch. Are you excited? And she's like, ah, la, 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 la. 
It's like, stop asking me the same question. <laughs> she knows she's like, She's like, are you insane? I just said so. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about it, huh? Yeah? yeah. She's telling us what for. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little dark. So. so what did you mix up? So I'm mixing up some ultramarine blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, they can see. Yep. Okay. I'm not focusing in like I usually do, guys. Oh, good, because last week was horrible. I think there's like some autofocus thing that the camera's doing, um, so I'm not focusing today. If for some reason when we post this uh, post live and it's still doing what it did before, then I'm going to see if there's a Facebook setting that I have to change. Yeah, um, last week was just terrible. I yeah. couldn't even watch it. <laughs> I tried. Uh, you, it's not your fault. You gotta stop taking everything so personally. <laughs> you should go get a new job. Uh -huh. I should go stand in Borscht line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I really don't think I want the sky quite that dark. That dark. I'm going to get a different brush here. Can you blot it out too? Yeah. Darcy said, oh. where did she get that from? That like, like the talking? Shannon. No, I never talked. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh, and we have another new person. We have Lori Ellsworth. <gasps> Haven't seen you in a while. Hello, boy. Haven't seen Lori in a while. Oh, Darcy said, Shannon apologizing for everything. Where does she get that oh. from? Oh, because of oh. me. Because I do that. Great job. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Hi. Hi. So I'm just going to go around my little critters here as best I can. Mama, mama, now your paint mama, is only going to go. Wow, I can talk to my. Lori said, Hi, ladies. I know it's been crazy. <laughs> so happy to see everybody. That's Lorelei just trying to get my attention. <laughs> Our paint is only going to go where we've wet the paper. So unless we've gone in on the hat or the snowman, um, it should stay right in the sky. And it's okay if it goes in a little bit because um, I want it looser than the original painting that I did. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so... <clears throat> In a few more weeks, she's going to be narrating this. <laughs> All right, so. And I'm just taking a damp brush. And I'm going to feather that down into the snow here so I can get not a harsh line. Got almost a little bit of a dry brush effect over there. Yep. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Coming down off the hill. Lori said she loves her. Everybody does. She keeps it up. She's going to have her own YouTube channel. Uh huh. <laughs> she saw her during the day. Holy moly. Send help. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. And I think I might want to pull up. Well, you know what? If I do the bokeh effect, I don't want the clouds. I'm going to just leave that at that, mm. but I am, while this is wet, going to take some of my white and just dot snow. some snow in the sky, because putting it in now, it's going to just blend right into the sky. And it won't be so harsh, it'll just, uh, it'll, it'll be like if you're looking at the snow falling and you can tell it's snowing, but you don't see every single individual flake falling is just a nice soft 
so yeah. far. Yeah, and you're not, it's not going to come out as like garishly white either. It's just going to be, it's going to blend in as like, um, like cloudy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really pretty. I'm going to get a smaller brush for that though. But you are putting a nice, they're not all the same, you are putting a lot of varieties. There's like some little oh, ones yeah. and there's some big ones. And... Oh yeah. Very cool. Speaking of YouTube, we do have a YouTube channel. If you guys haven't been on it, um, it's the Color Hub. And it'll have the same, uh, you know, icon profile that picture that our Facebook page does for Michelle and that is a couple color hubs. yeah so um, if you see the same picture as what you see for our Facebook page then you're on the right one um, if you haven't subscribed to it um, just hit the subscribe button and that allows us to have more followers you don't have to pay anything you don't have to join anything um, in fact you can turn notifications on so anytime I post a new video you will get the notification if you don't want it then just click the notifications off but you know you'll still have subscribed to our channel once we hit a thousand subscribers we'll be able to do YouTube live um, until then we just have to post um, videos that are already pre-recorded and we'll get better quality uh, videos once we can do YouTube live as opposed to Facebook live so we would like to get away from Facebook live if possible well we can do them both it's just yeah Mm -hmm. YouTube would be better though. Yes, we can do Facebook, but you know. Um, and then we do have an Instagram page. If you didn't join us from there, um, it's the underscore color hub. Um, and I believe it also still has the same profile pic as the Facebook and YouTube channel. So just uh, follow it on Instagram. Some of the shorter videos I'm going to start posting. I've only posted the pictures so far, but I'm going to start posting any of the videos that are under an hour because they do have a one hour limit. Um, so there'll be a lot of different ways for you to um, follow us and watch it if you don't want to watch it on Facebook every time um, once we're done recording. Or maybe you have a friend that wants to watch the videos, but they don't have Facebook. So you can say, oh, go to YouTube, go to Instagram. You know? Lots of choices. Now you're just making the snow a little bit softer yeah, instead just, of just all white. Yeah, just making like little hills and making it look like snow. Mm -hmm. Could you do me a little favor, yes. honey? Yes. What do you? Could you go get me some clean water while I blow dry this yep. really quickly? Right. And it's just. That off really quick because that's a little bit much right there and I'm just gonna blow dry this and let me see what can I talk to you guys about um, next Saturday the Saturday after Thanksgiving Shannon and I will be at uh, the Marion Fire Hall with some of our crafts our um, cards and some of our paintings and see the December 11th we will be at the Masonic Temple in Marion at the top floor with the same thing thanks honey with oh with um farmhouse rats farmhouse rats they I think they're going to be right next to us that's what we're trying for <laughs> <laughs> Now, by laying your hand just gently, you can tell if it's if it feels um, cool. Your paper is still too til, still too moist. If it feels room temperature, you're okay. So we still are a little moist. I'm want, I'm trying to get it dry enough to go in with the to the, do the critters here. And you don't want it to be. Hot. You're not trying to bake your paper. Oh no! You'll no, no, scorch no, 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 no. It, scorch the paint. So put it on low. Um, if you're gonna put it on high, do it for very brief 
seconds and check your paper so you don't cook it. And um, by the way, we're using uh, tape tonight. I haven't been using tape for a while because <laughs> I've just been lazy. <laughs> um, but we are using tape tonight and it's a good idea when you're using tape to give it a quick uh, blow dry on the edges of the tape just to warm that up, the adhesive, so that it pulls up without tearing your paper. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. Tips and tricks. Sorry about this. It's, I know you guys can't really see it because of the angle that right now. That sparkle is beautiful. Yeah, from our perspective, it's, you can see the sparkle even through the blue paint. This the paper is paint. gorgeous. And yeah, <laughs> that was definitely I was. It. I wasn't <laughs> sure what to expect. <laughs> when, when you messaged it to me, I'm like, oh god, it's going to have like a layer of just glitter on top, and then when you paint, like there's going to be glitter everywhere. And well, I saw no. another artist who showed her work mm -hmm. on um, YouTube, mm -hmm. and it was just beautiful. She showed a stream. Mmm, that would be like with a uh, sun on it, so it has that like, yeah. that would be cool. It was beautiful. I'm not quite done. You you keep talking. You're better at this than I am. <laughs> oh, you're doing so good. Um, so if you are just joining us, or if not, you'll be hearing this again for the upkeep time. Um, we do have our stuff at Sarah's Country Barn on Ridge Road in Ontario. Um, Small Business Saturday is going to be next Saturday, which will be at the Marion Fire Hall, but... You know, if you don't spend, if you do come, you don't have to spend all day there. Um, you can go to Sarah's Country Barn and shop around there at other people's stuff, or you can get our stuff there. Um, it's just a, it's a really cool shop. I would go onto their Facebook page. It's just Sarah's Country Barn, and check out their hours because they they do have um, kind of different hours. Different days have different times. It's more afternoons and early evenings. Um, yeah, it's only certain days of the week as well. Yeah, so I would uh, check out their time and you know see if that works for your schedule. Um, but yeah, Small Business Saturday is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so that's next Saturday. And I highly suggest going out to different craft places and fairs. You know, come to the Marion Fire Hall if you're in the area and support local artisans and you know get local people's goods um small companies um etsy is also a good place so yeah all right so now i'm going to be using some um english red mm. some yellow ochre and um some sepia brown for the deer and I think I'm going to wet her first, just so that the paint flows a little bit. And we have Ashley Bulger, and we have David Carpenter, and Chris Frizzell. Hi guys! Very awesome. Yeah, you guys all picked a good More night. More the merrier. They heard about right. the sparkle paper. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Does anyone have any questions or? Just kind of watching and enjoying the show. Listening to the Lorelei show. Listen, yeah, I was just going to say listening to Lorelei. And this one's going to be very loose. So if it, mm -hmm. if it goes outside, it's kind of like cartoony tonight. So. Well, you don't want it to look exactly like the one you did today either. No. You, know? you want it to look unique. Okay. <laughs> Right. But I just love when you drop the paint in. Mm -hmm. It just flows. Kind of feels like it It uh, takes less time to paint too because it does some of the work for you. Mm -hmm. When you water it first? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. really sorry I'm not zooming in guys um, if you're just joining us uh, we've had some issues for the past few Facebook videos when I zoom in um, 
Facebook later crops it off or something. So last week was horrendous. Yeah, Saturday was horrendous. So I'm I'm trying to leave the camera as it is. Um, so my mom did a little bit of a bigger painting from what she did as a practice piece today. And if it works great, then we'll just uh, figure out something from there so you guys can see the images better. If not, then I'll have to go into Facebook settings and figure out what to do. Or if you guys know what's going on, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anybody has an idea what happened last week, that yeah. was the first time I've seen that happen. That was yeah. terrible. Yeah, my, my only worry is that um, Facebook made some changes and that maybe that's one of the things that changed. Yeah, I told you that. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> that was really bad. Yeah. Um, Shannon also, Shannon and I were also wondering, um, we did this last year. We had one night where we presented our paintings that we still had for sale. I think it was after the Saturday. Could have been, yeah. Uh, basically what we did was we set up, and we have more now, but um, we set up the... We don't have to do everything. Yeah, we can break it up into a couple nights too. Um, like one night we can just do like the flower ones and all that stuff. But um, what we, what I had done was set up all the paintings and um, we went one by one and I did a Facebook Live video where, <laughs> where you could see uh, each painting and I would zoom in to each one so that you could get a better idea of it. Um, we told the price and then mom talked a little bit about what her inspiration was for that piece because some pieces are very meaningful to her. Um, we also talked about what materials were used because some of them were multimedia, some of them were watercolor. Um, she's been using a lot of different um, media types now. Um, like she's got the pastels and colored pencils and markers and stuff. So, so yeah, um, it's kind of cool to know what went into your piece um so yeah uh if you guys are interested in us doing that again uh just let us know and we can figure out a night that we're going to do that and let you guys yeah leave a comment so that we know that that's something you'd be interested in yep and we'll do that we'll plan on that one night yeah i think that's uh that would be a fun idea because I think there's a lot that we did that we bring to shows that people online haven't seen or I maybe just posted a quick picture but they prefer the video. <laughs> this is so cool with all the sparkles. I'm thinking when they did each layer that they put sparkles in each layer so it doesn't matter if you take the top layer off like when you were scrubbing it. I don't still know shows. how they did it, but it's really cool. You'd have to be like glitter bath. <laughs> you'd have to be like really close, close to see it. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, once you're done with it, I'll uh, lift it and show it because when you turn it and angle it, you can see all the sparkles on it. But it's not gaudy like glitter. It's almost like that. Uh, the fake snow that has the glitter in it, like soft stuff. Really cool. Whoops. Didn't want that to happen. <laughs> I don't even see it. I got it just in time. All right. So let's see. I'll do the. Honey, if you gotta go out, you gotta ask Papa. <laughs> Darcy, you can just imagine where that is. Darcy, you gotta come take care of your dog. <laughs> now you're doing the little beaver. <laughs> That's one of my biggest fun things when we were up home, flipping up home mm. at night. My dad would take us out to the beaver den. And we'd go watch the beavers. <laughs> I know. Watch those beavers be destructive. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
imagine what how much they could do watch, in one night. Watch watch the beef ears depreciate the land. <laughs> <laughs> Your real estate goes down and there goes up. <laughs> Back on my grandpa's land. <laughs> Back on the denims. <laughs> Are you sure? They're not very detailed, so I mean, this is not a very detailed painting. <laughs> they're a fun, cartoony yeah. critters, you know. It's not like they're real. Uh, Lori said, I say, let's get together and have a live painting party in person with Michelle. It would be a privately booked party and we take home our paintings. I, I actually that. want to do that. If anybody is truly interested in that, we can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm saving up to build a studio, too, so that um, we can do that all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if anybody wants to do that... Give me a shout, and we could maybe do that before Christmas, even. Lori said maybe the Marion Legion. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I know they've done some, they've done it with somebody. Somebody's done that over there. I've oh, really? I've seen it on Facebook, yeah. So yeah, Legion would be a good, good place. They have that really big room. And you can have wine there. Like, I don't want to suggest the Marion Legion, so I don't think you can have wine there. <laughs> Oh, we gotta have wine. That's what I'm saying. The Legion's a good spot. We gotta have wine. <laughs> they have alcohol on the premise. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're gonna have a cute little pink bunny. This painting might go a lot faster tonight than it did today. Of course, we had a lot of stop stoppage time yeah. today. Gosh. More than I thought we did, apparently. <laughs> Darcy said, put the wine in the water bottle. I'm assuming she means if we go to the Marion Library. <laughs> oh, boy. Then it's a wine bottle. So trust me, there's been plenty of times I've put wine in a water bottle. <laughs> yep. Hypothetically. <laughs> Vodka tonics. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if we were to go to some shows and there, there were some coffee mugs and some coolers with maybe some wine or what else involved. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Darcy said, LOL, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just say the Hungerford was definitely a big one. <laughs> oh. Thank God I had it those days. <laughs> Let me tell you, those are bad. That last one, I was worried you guys were going to abandon me. <laughs> I'm like, well, they're both going to the truck. I think you guys took, did you take Lorelai at one point? I don't know, but oh. that was really bad. <laughs> those were. Yeah. Not quite our cup, not quite <laughs> advertised. Not our cup of tea. No, not at all our cup of tea. A bunch of other people's. I don't know who's. Very good. People, Whoever was people not buying from us. <laughs> Whoever was like screeching in foreign tongue. I got really excited when I saw them walking across the street towards us in droves, and I was like, "Woo!" And then straight past all the tents. <laughs> Aww. The music was not quite as advertised. Yeah, we thought it was going to be fam family friendly music and it was not. Not at all. I really need to get this where it's not going to cross my painting. <laughs> oh, the water? Yeah. Do you want me to put it right here? Yeah, it's probably okay. better over there. Okay. Gonna be better for you? Yeah. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> I am so not good at cartoony eyes. And yeah, you did a really good job. 
No, no, no. So <laughs> I can fix it. I thought it was nice. Darcy's uh, gonna own Nick Cast to watch later because he's got bad internet. And Darcy said, no problem. Let's see if we have anybody else that came on that I missed. So yeah, well maybe Oops. I'll uh, don't do that either, guys. Maybe I'll do a um, a Facebook poll and see what people think about doing a um, in person class, and I can ask around, uh, like Lori suggested at the American Legion in town. Maybe we can get something set up. Lori said, I'm sorry I have to go, ladies, but so love being here and listening to the baby. Love you. Uh -huh, love you, too. Thanks for joining. See you later, Lori. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. Kind of zoom in on the eyes, guy. <laughs> Lori said, well, definitely do it. Yes, thanks, Shannon. <laughs> so we'll... Uh, yeah, pro it'll probably be tomorrow because tonight's kind of busy. Yeah. So busy. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll get it up there. <laughs> it's not a rush deal. No, it must be rushed. <laughs> Ooh. Lady. <laughs> Easy on the mascara. <laughs> Is that the same brush you used for the other one? No. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably why. Oh, yeah, you had that other one that was thinner. Yeah. What'd you do with it? I don't know. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see here. That one's got an extra little uh, bristle that's sticking out. Cool. And no. Would you like a pair of no, scissors, lady? I do not want you touching my brush. I did not touch it. You did it. <laughs> I'm not crazy. And it has a way of ruining my my brushes without touching them. That's the best part. <laughs> so now we're just using a little bit of cadmium red light in the schminky set, which is actually an orange. Yeah, I was gonna say that's. Yeah. What did you mix with that? <laughs> Nothing. Just okay. right in there. And since I haven't done anything with the white of the snowman, I'm going to go in and just uh, do some green for his scarf. For his scarf, yep. And this one you have to. Uh, Put a little bit more effort into painting because you didn't wet it, so yeah. you gotta actually like paint it, paint it like traditionally. Yeah. But you can be more stylistic with the, you know. Yeah. That's just a snowman. <laughs> just having fun with this one. We just really wanted to play with the paper and play with the, uh, was it Boko effect? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they called it Boko. No, I'm curious. I don't know. I keep thinking like Boko Raton, like Florida, maybe it's like a, I don't know, somebody from that area thought all the old pictures. I don't know. <laughs> I, now I gotta look it up. <clears throat> Be Lorelei shaking. I almost said Sylvie. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Lorelei running around. <laughs> there's Grandpa capturing Lorelei. <laughs> That's Lorelei for all the fit. <laughs> Utter meltdown in three seconds. <laughs> Two, one. No, nothing. Liking the <laughs> yeah, I 
I think it's, it's a different color too. Oh, it's a different angle. Yeah. On that one you have, uh, she's looking coyly off screen and this one is like looking up at the snowman. Okay, let's see. We need a hat for this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice the snowballs before. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, we got little snowballs. We're going to paint in there. <laughs> I got to keep watching these little water droplets on the ferrule. Mm. Um, and we have Emily Taylor on. Hello. Hi, guys. A lot of new people. This is awesome. And a lot of people that we haven't seen in a long while. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's not in the way. Uh, nope, actually, I can see it pretty good on the video. Okay. Yep. And if you're just joining us tonight, we're not talking as much only because we both have uh, bad migraines from the weather, <laughs> so we're kind of like a little bleh. <laughs> Our brains are. <laughs> yeah. We almost didn't do it tonight, and then we're yep. like, we're gonna persevere. <laughs> Yeah, we had a, uh, weather got unseasonably warm today, and then it's going to be unseasonably warm tonight. First thing in the morning is going to be unseasonably warm, and then the temperature is going to plummet, and then we should be back to where we should be. With no snow. <laughs> Shannon and I are both cool weather person. I want my snow. <laughs> People. Well, December 4th is coming up, and I want snow for the husky meet and greet at the festival of lights and or the late the night in Walworth so lot of snow <laughs> and we're painting all these winter pieces now too so I just found my snow <laughs> enough said <laughs> you just you just want everything don't you Shannon yes we need a studio. We want so oh, Michelle. That's just terrible. What did you do? I missed it. Ugh. Ugh. It's not worth repeating. Okay. <laughs> See, that's got one tiny little hair that's sticking out. <laughs> just one tiny little hair, Shannon. Do you like nail clippers? No. Scissors. Ugh. I'm gonna have to come in later with that one. I was gonna say, what? Where did that other little brush that worked so good go? Jeez, you only got like uh, eight hundred you know brushes. Use, I'll use pencils later. There you go. I'll come in later with pencils. Yeah, you already have the Dr. Ph. Martins, so it's already multimedia. And we have Katie Wing. Hello. Hi. A lot of new people tonight. So oh my goodness, I got it made. <laughs> Trees yet and everything. I Just in case you guys weren't here at the beginning, um, we're playing around with, um, this is the one that she did earlier today. It's a new sparkle paper that she got from Paul Rubens. And let's see if I can tilt it properly. So as you guys can tell, there's a lot of sparkle in it. And it even goes through the different colors. So, yeah. So we're just doing a larger version of that right now. 
I'm going to just pull out a little bit of a highlight on that hat. Okay. get some trees in here. And we're doing it um, a little bit looser than we did the one from earlier today just to kind of play around with it. So we did the other one really um, stylized and yeah, let's do something different with this one. So are you just using like the phyllo green and another color? Um, some phyllo and some permanent olive green and I threw in a little bit of brown into it. Mm. And I'm just dotting it in. And I'm just um, changing up the heights of my trees. And you don't have to completely cover it right because you're going to also put the little whites in and yeah. yeah and there's a hill here so I'm making my trees just come down the hill and if you guys are washing your towels your oh, no, no, that you dab your uh, brushes on or whatever don't wash them <laughs> in with your clothes because uh, <laughs> some of these paints are staining and they will get on your clothes so I always wash them separately I just steal my son's um, shop towels <laughs> he has so many he doesn't even realize I have them yeah if you have think. disposable ones that would be even best for you I use, yeah I use paper towels um, for my extra water um, for my oil pastels. Mm. Would you use paper towels for like the ink tents too? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And the ink tents is one that um that's a permanent. Yeah, thing. it's straight up ink. <laughs> I don't think we've done ink tents, have we? On wine? Um no. I don't think so. We'll have to do that online. Yeah. That's so cool. And you got a you got a new toy, so. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I treated myself. <laughs> so this is, um, right now it's phthalo green. Um, more of the permanent olive green. Just a very tiny little bit of brown. And I'm dipping into some of my um, ultramarine with some of this to go more with the blues. Oh, for this tree, like just to kind of make it up close and look different? Yep. Okay. You don't also want your trees to all be the same color. No. So, no more. Just taking some water and blending it when it comes down towards the ground. Because we're going to come in um, underneath our deer in our critters and we're going to make shadows. Not quite that dark. Oops. <laughs> That's what I just did oh, there. Oh my goodness. Oh. I just saw it. Oops. And these are liftable, liftable colors. Get them quick. Yeah. Oh, maybe that was something else. Oh, that was that was one of them. But these are very sedimentary colors, um, so they will lift up for you. There she said, "Okay, is that one of your dogs whining or one of mine?" Um, I don't know. Lorelai's also making some very quiet whiny sounds. Hi, Darren, and we have Darren Frizella. Hi, Darren. Hi. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's reaching for me. Pretty soon, soon, baby girl. You watching Nana? Pretty soon, baby. You watching Nana? Yeah. Yeah. 
My dog looks wrong and they just keep looking at me. <laughs> like, Mommy, it's not us. <laughs> Is it P-O-T-T-Y time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty on camera. I mean, it looks pretty in person too, but like when it's on camera, you get the full, mm -hmm. like you can see it. Always looks different, so I don't understand why. <laughs> Camera does something weird. So did you look, mix a little bit more blue into this one too to kind of change it up? Or? I'm just using whatever's mm. in my pan. <laughs> we snap not not. Yeah, <laughs> that is exactly it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're silly. Somebody should be falling asleep pretty soon here. <laughs> she had like 15 minutes of sleep all day. <laughs> Surprised she hasn't crashed already. I'm not ready to crash. <laughs> I know, it's been a long day. I like how um, putting the trees in the background like that and angling them actually creates the impression of the hill. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to actually make a hill. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. I don't like this tree, what I just did, but I don't know. The little, little <laughs> one? This here. Oh. Yeah, cool. There you go. Little baby one. There you go. No, I mean this here. Oh, it just did. Oops. You can fix it. Oh. Lots of ways you can fix it. Oh, yep. Gotcha. <laughs> Good thing you're here, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> you are, we are usually more talkative. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're very boring tonight, um, people. We got extra water right there. Just there you go. So sorry about that, guys. But this is such a pretty piece, so we, <laughs> we don't really need a lot of words. <laughs> Saturday will be better. Saturday's weather is supposed to be pretty. Normal, not crazy. <laughs> I knew something was up because started feeling off. What? Yeah, like uh, middle of the night. And I was like, oh no. Well, I'm not loving these treats, but I think I can fix it once I get yes, you can. my next layer of paint on. You can fix it. I hope so. Looks good at camera. <clears throat> Looks like a big shrub. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave that like that. Okay. I'm gonna take some blue with these and I'm gonna go around these little snowballs. Make them look like little, mm -hmm. make them stand out. Yeah. Got a little bit of ice around them. <laughs> <laughs> Get it off my deer. That's good. If there's more on this side. Mm -hmm. You went a little crazy with the snowballs there. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> All right, I'm going to dry this really quickly so I can put so some white on and then we'll do some bokeh effects. Woohoo! 
That'll be cool for you guys to see. Cause that's different. I've never seen that until today. So I've never done it till today. Yeah. <laughs> but today was an experiment. Yeah. I was like concerned when you started it. I was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna ruin that one. I'm like, let me take a picture of it real quick and um, because I honestly didn't know it was just gonna be for the background of the sky. I thought maybe she was gonna do the circles over the deer and snowman and everything, but yeah, really cool looking. Snow time. Snow time. Now when you're done, you can go outside and put snow on everything if you need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, Anyways. You're just kind of playing with it, making it look like it's sitting on top of branches. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be more of the cartoony snow, like you would mm -hmm. see. <laughs> like on Charlie Brown. Yeah, or Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah. <laughs> Just make it cutesy. Or any of the other various Christmas cartoonies themed. But this is giving me more cartoony snow. Well, you know what? You haven't really done a cartoony thing. Yeah, a long while. Not a long while. Yeah. Okay, I'm with it. Kind of looks like they had a, a small snowstorm. I like it. <laughs> I think I actually like the sky on this one better than I the one too. from earlier. Because I think it also makes the sparkles like the the one that you did earlier today, it looks more like old, like the colors have faded over time. But this one's like really nice and cartoony and bright. Um, makes the snow show up more too. I want, I'm curious about how the uh, bokeh effect's gonna look when you do it on this one. Cause that one it like is soft. It's closer to the color of the sky. Now that you got all these trees, now you gotta snow them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not loving these trees in the foreground. Oh well. It's just I can fun. Fix, I can fix them with pencil. Yep, and it's just a fun piece. Yeah. But if you do want it, it's like a hundred bucks, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to emphasize that hill a little more too. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gonna put like shadows in it to mm -hmm. kind of create that? Mm -hmm. We did say hi back, so guess what? Hi! Oh. <laughs> hi, Tim! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think I would have taken off video of her that she'd be okay with just, you know, letting us have a video. 
<laughs> nope, it's gotta be the Lorelei video. <laughs> <laughs> now I am going to take Make some pills. Soften it up. She snorts. Our baby snorts. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to just give our snowman some dimension here. Yes, baby. What? What, baby? Hi. Yeah. Afterwards, okay? Give him a little dimension. Oh, yeah, that looks sharp. I keep thinking like, oh, don't cover it too much because of the sparkle. And I have to remind myself that it shows through the paint. All right. And now... Da, da, da. Should we do some ball contact on this? Well, I know you wanted to show it, but I really kind of like it how it is. <laughs> how about, can you do like one of them on... How about I just do some tiny ones? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Or I can just show them what the bokeh effect is on this one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Take on that one. one and do like another one on that. All right, so this is this, guys. All done. It's so cute. I like it. <laughs> Mercy said, it looks good. And I'll show you what the bulk effect is on this one. So this has some done, but I, so this is the bulk effect where you take um, some paint off in circles and I'll show you like a spot right here. Mm. I'll take a little bit more off. Um, just do a little one. Yeah, just take a little bit off right here. So I'm just taking a scrubber brush some not so clean water <laughs> so just something that's kind of firm but it doesn't have to be yeah it's not like yeah and I'm just dabbing at it and so I just made that white spot right there very cool so I've it's similar to all the rest of them that I've made mm -hmm. so I think I will take the tape off of this Yay. and we will <laughs> we gotta find your board. Is that what you? Yeah. yeah. That's why I got this out tonight uh, because. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to look for it. <laughs> Watch you snap yourself. Boss trap. We'll get all of the tape off. Mm -hmm. You can always pull the tape away from you, so it doesn't tear your paper. Now, if you didn't blow dry your piece earlier, should you uh, blow dry the tape really quick just to kind of loosen up the adhesive? It never or... hurts to do okay. it. There we go. Ooh, nice sharp And that gave us a nice border. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's really cute. Aww. So there we go. We'll have to do Boca with something else that has like that lighter yeah, color. It's kind of really cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my worry, my worry too is like you see how the snow kind of already blends into the background with that one, and then with this, the snow stands right out. I'm worried if you do the bokeh effect here, it's going to be too yeah too much. Unless you could do like a faded edge, yeah, that would be kind of so. Put these yeah. two next to each other, and you guys can see them. I'm getting stuff thrown at me. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think? And we have, oh my goodness, we have Lori and Boston on. Hello. 
even though we're close to the end, we are going to post this um, right afterwards, and it will also be on YouTube, so if you wanted to watch the whole thing, um, it will be available for you to see. Oh, yeah. We do that with all of our videos, so. Any uh, questions? Or Whoops. There goes the gate. <laughs> That's probably Loki. <laughs> Any questions? Um, yeah. So if you guys want to have us do the uh, bokeh effect on something else, let us know. Darcy said it looks good. Nice job. Or it looks great. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I, can, I can read. <laughs> All right. Well, we will uh, see you guys on Saturday morning then at 11 a.m. And I think and Saturday we might do this one. This guy? Unless she changes her mind, um, we will probably do this snowman. And what I will do um, tonight or tomorrow, I will take a picture of it and post it on Facebook so that you can uh, uh, draw your own <laughs> from it. Um, you can print it off and trace it, or you can just print it off and use it. You know, we don't we don't mind. It's not licensed, so you know. No, I don't mind if you yep. copy anything that mm -hmm. I do and teach it to somebody, share mm -hmm. it with other people, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Use it and then change it up a little bit, make it your own. Yeah. Oh, good. It's totally up to you guys. So, All right. Well, we hope you guys had fun and um, we're sorry about the you know, lack of talking today. Yeah. Um, sorry about both of us having headaches tonight, yeah. guys. It'll be better on Saturday. Hopefully <laughs> so. we'll have snow. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it won't be crazy weather, that's for sure. So. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes. And let us know if you have any questions uh, between now and Saturday or um, you want us to go over something. And we will see you guys later. Yes. Right. And share your pictures if you, if you join us with painting. Absolutely. All right. Bye. Bye.